Exploring Feelings in Poetry. Hello, readers. Today, we are going to continue being detectives as we read and looking for clues to help us determine the mood and feeling of a poem. You know that poets create moods for their poems. They want you to connect with each poem and feel a certain way about what you're reading. How does a poet create feelings and moods? Well, we talked a little bit about how words and titles create mood. Today, we're really going to search for words and language that evoke certain emotions and make us feel the mood that the author wants us to feel. Let's take a look at some moods and see if we can think of some words to associate with them. On the next few slides, you are going to see some different emojis that represent different emotions. I want you to think about what words or things make you feel those certain emotions. You're going to give an example for each emotion. Emotion words. Happy. Sad. Angry or frustrated. Playful, lonely, serious. Take a look at this chart and think about things that make you feel happy, things that make you feel sad. What makes you feel angry or frustrated? How about playful, lonely, serious? You're going to write down words or things that make you feel those ways. Then we're going to examine how we can be detectives and find words in the poem that might make us feel a certain way. You are certainly able to find words that evoke the moods you just saw. Now, we're going to continue adding to this chart by looking for words in the poems that we read. When reading today, let's consider what emotions each word evokes and we'll categorize it under one of these moods. This chart will help you practice identifying how the poem made you feel when you read certain words. As we read the poem, you're going to write the words on the chart in your seesaw activity. By looking at the words and determining their emotional significance and impacts on our moods, we are able to appreciate the poet's hard work in choosing words carefully so that we understand the mood and the message of the poem. Let's try this with one of our mentor poems. Take a look at this poem called In the Circle. Let's all read the first line of this poem. I love. I love. Wow. Those two words have a lot of meaning and emotion, don't they? The authors set them apart on a line of their own so that they have a strong impact. Where do you think on our emotion words chart could we write the word love? I would write it under happy, but you might think of something else. Kay Winters started her poem with a strong statement about something she likes a lot. This beginning makes us feel happy and excited. Let's continue to read the rest of the poem. I love to sit next to my teacher. She smells like flowers and she smiles at me like I'm special. 
Some words that stick out to me are flowers, smiles, and special. And I think they could all be categorized under happy. I think we probably agree that the mood Kay wanted to express with this poem is a happy feeling. I'm sure that when I read it, I definitely felt that way. Let's look at another poem and see what the words make us feel. This poem is called The Mistake. It's wrong. So I erase the space where my mistake showed its face. Now a hole takes its place. I think I'll climb in. I want you to think about what words from this poem we could add to our chart. You're going to take your turn now to analyze this poem and write the words on the chart that will help you explore the emotions that the author wants us to feel. Poets carefully choose their words so they make readers feel certain emotions, creating specific moods for their poems. When we stop to look at the word choices and think about what emotions they evoke and which moods they create, we realize how hard the poet has worked. This carefully crafted, beautiful, and emotional language is one of the characteristics that makes poetry so special and enjoyable. This language, full of emotion words, also allows us to connect to the poems on a personal level because we've all experienced similar emotions. It's important to take time to look for these emotions in poetry. A poet's words have all been very carefully chosen and they help us appreciate the emotions we feel from the poems and gain a deeper understanding of poetry. So make sure as a reader that you take the time to look very closely like a detective. You want to be able to find those words that help you connect to the text. Great job today, readers.